Good morning, you guys. We are starting the day by leaving our Airbnb bright and early at 7 a.m. here in Cusco, and we're actually having a driver take us all around the Sacred Valley today and ultimately going to these ruins. It's gonna be an amazing day. We're gonna see a lot of culture, I'm hoping, uh, but we gotta get going, we gotta get on the road. We got a couple hours of driving ahead of us this morning. Today we've come out to Chinchero in the Sacred Valley. We've left Cusco and we've come to a textile house called Ulpi, where we're gonna be seeing how these textiles are kind of dyed and processed. <laughs> Filber has given me some long reeds of grass which we can feed the, uh, the alpacas and llamas. And this one, <laughs> this one right here is so cute. <laughs> I think this one is probably about a year old smallest one here and apparently they live to about 30 or 40 years old didn't know that So if I'm if I'm gonna be mostly wearing black pants, which is what I usually have, which one should I get? See, I like this one because it's cool and black and white. But on the other hand, like I feel like I should go for something kind of like more unique, you know? Like this one with the llamas on it. This one? Yeah. This is for women. <laughs> for women? Yes. That's okay. I like it. <laughs> it looks amazing. Are there any for men? No. No. <laughs> I don't care. I like it. I am too broad for this. <laughs> so I think it is just like a square, like you said. It's the cross. Yeah, I see. Does it look good? Or is it too small for me? I think it's a little bit too small. Ah, uh, darn. Because it looks amazing. It does look amazing. I just feel like every time you're walking, it's always going to fall off. Yeah, it might fall off. Apparently I'm too big for this. It just keeps falling off. It looks so good on the wall, though. <laughs> I'm so jealous of these hangers <laughs> and how good it looks on them. It does not look good on me. They didn't know all these fashionable men were coming. <laughs> <laughs> I just came from New York Fashion Week, you know, trying to find some new designs. Is this baby alpaca? No. It's, what is well, it? Alpaca regular, no baby. Regular. It feels extremely soft. Because the baby alpaca is more softer. Mm. Yeah. Well, this feels very soft for a regular alpaca. All right. I, uh, am I proving it? I think so. Comment down below if I should get this. Uh, but don't watch the next scene where I buy this. <laughs> I like it. It feels so soft. I'm getting it. <laughs> now, I'm ready for the rest of the day. Can you give me a New York City model fashion walk? I'm ready for the, the Sacred Valley. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So this this uh, archaeological site that we're at right now, it was actually built by a guy named Manku Inca, who was an Inca who left Cusco because he wanted to build a palace here. But in the 16th century, when the Spanish came, they kind of destroyed it. And so now all the buildings here are very Spanish influenced. And you can only see like the ruins kind of of what the Inca originally built. So we, we came to a stop here. We are kind of overlooking the Sacred Valley now. As you might see from the drone shots, there's a giant winding road that goes all the way down to Urubamba. So we're overlooking the Sacred Valley right now. Pretty much in 360 degree views, you can see snow-capped mountains all around us. The Andes are really incredible. And I stopped here to uh, not only see these llamas, but to get some incredible shots of like this landscape. All right, so we've now come to Moroy, and this is an area where they believe a meteorite hit 
and then the Incas kind of built this agricultural uh, the little levels up afterwards. So each little level apparently has its own microclimate. So each year when they are uh, farming, they put things on different levels. So, you know, they might farm on the bottom the first year, the second year they go up and up and up, and so they're able to maintain that fresh soil. But it's kind of cool because it looks like the aliens landed in like this kind of, this was what was left of the ground. But it also kind of looks like Minecraft. <laughs> it kind of looks like someone dug out a hole in Minecraft because it's like so perfectly like blocky. It's kind of cool, you just, you drive like one straight line, you hit all these spots. And so we came here and we're heading next to the salt flats. So we just pulled over on the side of the road because we are overlooking the salt mines now, but also the sacred valley and the river that runs through the whole sacred valley. This goes from where we were earlier to all the way up to Machu Picchu. So this goes in through the entirety of the sacred valley. After this, we're gonna head down to the salt mines there to get a closer look. We wanted to see what it looked like from above first. It looks like there's a little bit of a path here. Should I do it? Always. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> Everything is just extremely loose gravel everywhere I'm stepping. Wow, what a view. That is the Maras salt mines. This is the Urbama River in Sacred Valley. All right, you guys, so we made it down to the Morris salt mines, and you used to actually be able to walk down here, but they've closed it off now. You have these giant wooden posts you cannot enter because the guys, they used to take everyone here and you simply like, you know, dip your hand in, taste the salt maybe, but with over like hundreds of people doing that every single day, there used to be bacteria that would grow, and so their salt was getting contaminated, and so obviously they had to close it off. But they actually make pink Himalayan sea salt here, which is my favorite of the pink sea salts. And uh, the, the way that they did that was thousands of years ago, are you laughing? <laughs> thousands of years ago, there was an ocean that ran through here and then it dried up. And then there's now spring water that contains salt. And so they gather the spring water, they put it in these pools, the sun evaporates it, and all that's left is the salt, which then they use a little pickaxe. And the miners will take it and put it in sacks and then bring it up to sell it. You got your big salt, you got your small salt, and you got your, I don't even know. I think this is the pink one, this is the regular salt, and then this is uh, the in-between. It's kind of like the mixture if you want like a hybrid salt. Um, yeah, so if you want to taste some, go for it. I'm not going to eat a thing of salt. No. No. Fine. No dessert for you. I'll have a little. There we go. Maybe. I'm not gonna eat an entire thing. You're eating of salt. all that? You're a brave, brave man. Whoa! You're laughing at me! No! Don't swallow. That was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> we definitely got our laugh in it. So, how is your fresh mind salt, Cody? I don't think you're supposed to eat it based on how she's laughing. I should have sat in here giving it out to people 10 minutes ago. I don't understand. It's okay. You love me agua. Necesita agua. Mucha agua. ¿Qué es? Es la flor de sal. Flor de sal. Pinza medicinal sal. This is agua de spring water. Oh, spring water, okay. And from there, it's a branch over there. Yeah. It's a branch of many water channels. Like this main water channel. Is oh, very salty. Water it's salty. Huh? <laughs> I thought you were going to save me from the salt. <laughs> she gave me more salt. <laughs> it is agua sin salt. No. Uh, it's all salty here. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, I tasted it. Yeah. Ah, just a tablespoon. Okay. You've never done that? Any water? Should we go up and get water now? Go get water. After Michael convinced me of eating that handful of salt, it was a great idea. I got water. We're good. We're heading out of here. The clouds are luckily covering the sun, so it's a little less hot. But I think it might actually start raining. Ooh. Dance party. Yeah, we're heading out of here.
And we are now at the last stop of the day, which is Aliantai Tambo, and it is an archaeological site. It's kind of like a smaller version of Machu Picchu, and you can see the town over here. We're starting to hike up right now. And so over here, it is kind of more, more uh, well-maintained rocks, because this was a temple up here, and then this right here was for agriculture, farming, and for the military. And so the townspeople lived over here, and that's why everything was kind of built up here as like the, the holy you know, temple and everything. So we're gonna climb up here, and then we can do a cool little walk which goes around the entirety of uh, this little mountain here. So this in the background over here, this was actually just for storage. They used to f store uh, food and wine here. It was really good for preserving things, and it's kind of like a old times uh, refrigerator. I guess the wind would come through and it would uh, preserve it really nicely. So we've come up here to the temple part, and you've seen this before at uh, Sexy Woman, but now you can see there's smooth stone, but they have these little, little spots here. It looks like you're almost gonna go rock climbing or something like that. So while it might seem like it's kind of a sundial projecting the shadow, they actually th think it's used as a calendar so that when the sun is moving throughout the entire year, it would move into a different location so you would know when winter is coming. This right here is a very special spot. It looks like a throne or a chair, but this is actually where the Incans would come and bring offerings to the gods. Uh, mostly like, you know, drinks, coal, food, coca leaves. Sometimes humans, not all the time, but sometimes. Michael, I brought you here for a reason. <laughs> All right guys, that is the video. We're ending the day here in Ali Taitambo where we're getting an Airbnb and tomorrow we're taking the train all the way to the base of Machu Picchu. So that's the next video. But guys, I also come out with a podcast on this channel every Sunday, so you can check those out. You can also listen to it on iTunes, Spotify, wherever podcasts are found. So check that out and subscribe. And if you wanna help keep us on the road and going to amazing places like that, check out the link for our Patreon down below and you'll get all kinds of exclusive videos and bonus content. But other than that, Rogue Nation, Explore the world. Okay. Run. I got some water. <laughs> that makes it look so much worse in the video. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. You eat this every day.